good start as you'd expect from the front row and the Vet Sports machine will lead down into turn one. Look at the Arta car having a good look at the realised Nissan. That's Nidai Fukuzumi having a look at Sasaki. And will he get through on the exit of turn two? Yes, he will. So it is Yushi Kunamoto who leads from Nidai Fukuzumi. And then Daiki Sasaki as the GT300 cars get going. Is that NSX now being challenged straight away by Yamauchi? So the back of Kobayashi under pressure from Yamauchi, and he's lost the lead through turns one and two. And now Kobayashi having to defend from Shinichi Takagi in the after NSX there. So the Subaru, the car that could win the championship in the hands of Hideki Yamauchi, is now leading that class to turn our attentions back to the GT500 cars. And the realised car there has got back past Nidai Fukuzumi. You see an import car in P2, not Kari Matsushita coming up from uh, P4 on the grid. Ah, well Take spotted. P2, those Bridgestones, those Bridgestones warming up nicely. In fact, uh, yeah, getting ahead of Fukuzumi, uh, who briefly was in second, but I think he lost that position. So Sasaki has dropped like a stone because I, I was looking at the GT300s and I just looked up, saw a blue car in uh, in second place. Obviously now on the bigger screen you can see it's Matsushita, but I just assumed that was Sasaki's drop like a stone. It's a P5 Sasaki, so uh, yeah, struggling to get those numbers warmed up for the first uh, couple of corners. York Hammer did say yesterday that if, if the track's cold, they could be in trouble. The hotter the track gets, the better it's going to be for them. And obviously, Freedom Oak, though, is that. Well, his beer is full of import Nissan now. So it is Yushi Kunamoto who leads for Toyota ahead of Nobuhara Matsushita in the team import car. And then it's Nidai Fukuzumi, Yuko Sasahara in the lead Dunlop shot machine. And Daiki Sasaki started on the front row, now down to fifth. And Aiki Kovalainen and actually not putting him under too much pressure at this stage. A nightmare start for the 23 Nissan, which has dropped to P12. Uh, down from P7 on the grid, that's in Torelli's hand, so that's a real, uh, that's a real blow for their hopes they need to have score number one for the Honda at this race, otherwise it's uh, it's all over for their championship hopes. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what has happened to them on the opening lap. Meanwhile, in GT300, the Subaru is where we're accustomed to seeing it, certainly last time out, had a fantastic weekend, and now the Subaru here, looking very very strong as well uh, obviously third last time out in top of this one the race before in Sugo so we're used to seeing the Subaru at the front and when it does get to the front it's, it's hard to beat it's always there and thereabouts Jamie don't know what's happened here is there a problem for that or is that just a lock up no there's a problem it's the problem, gone the engine's gone yep. So the pole sitting car in GT300 has expired. Look at that. That looks oil like circuit. I don't think it's oil, you know. Looking at that, looks like steam. So it looks like there's some kind of coolant or something that's that's coming out of the back of that car. The engine certainly cried enough, but that looks like it's hot as opposed to oil. If that makes sense, it looks steamy instead of smoky. Right. Yeah. And uh, there's no sign of a full course yellow at the moment, so it may well be that the race control has uh, taken the same uh, opinion there. Oh, um, that's real seen drama. That, that car has had a lot of reliability issues, though. Uh, well, has actually dropped another position. He's slipped behind. It's actually Venestras, and there's a car off in the gravel. Yeah, the car there has the gone car is the wide at 10. Yeah. That, wow. was, that was contact with Venestras. And that car's just not going to get through that gravel trap. Such is the uh, the nature of the gravel traps here at Twin Ring Motec. They are full course yellow out. This will neutralise the racing. So the car's essentially brought back down to pit lane speed limit. And the 30 car's been rotated there. Not the 30 car. It's the Z machine, isn't it? That's just spun around. Oh, yeah. So the 38 machine. machine. So uh, how it, yep. that was just before the full course yellow has come out. So then I, I wonder if that's from the incident with the Leon Pyramid car. Well, there is, oh no, so that is the championship yep. leaders that have yep. been involved in yep. that. That was clear contact there. And 
that's Tatsuki Makino who spun around Tashikawa so they're down in 11th and 12th now so that's essentially where we're at with that it's Natsu Sakaguchi's 87 Lamborghini's off and that will be why contact with the good smile Mercedes of Tatsuya Katoka and that's more debris on the circuit so I think we can prepare for another full course yellow at the very least unless someone um, can get on and off now that's the best livery car on the grid now look at this so in all the traffic it's allowed to Kagi to go all the way around the outside of Yamauchi and Yamauchi was cautious there and quite rightfully so he's got a lot more to lose than Takagi and Shinichi Takagi in the Arter NSX on the Honda soil has now and that car's cried enough as well so that's that's interesting because the, the damage didn't look that severe but Sakaguchi well into the gravel so perhaps there was just a, an engine warning or who knows what yeah what is it? well there's a fair bit of damage to the 87 the whole left corner has essentially come off so I've got to say having covered season of Super GT and Super Formula the track record for actually catching the the root cause of incidents has been quite hit and miss this season that's another one that the, the cameraman was caught napping there unfortunately so, uh, oh there's just a sign there of the number three poking out of the garage they're going to send that car back out I wonder Right, here is Matsushita with a run on Kunamoto. <laughs> Did you see how much grip that Nissan had? Just managed to just hook up and normally, and he's gone right to around the outside of Kunamoto. And that just shows that the tyre there, and look, you heard the reaction. <laughs> Yoshi Hoshino likes the look of that. So who's this into pit lane? Well, this is the drive through then. So this is the keeper car, Sasha Fenestra is welcome back to Japan and straight onto the naughty step. Number one Honda is also on its way into the pit lane. Yeah, so, so leaders in. If they're classic strategy. The 36 Toyota also in the pit lane. I've not seen much of them so far, I knew that Gucci was in the wheel. That car, they're the highest placed Toyota in the, uh, in the driver's standings at the moment, so they need a good result. And we've got the Nissan in as well, that's unusual to see them go so early, the 23 car, but they've obviously seen that the other cars are, are doing well with that strategy, so can't beat them, join them. So, Still, plenty of action. Here, I mean, a aboard the 12 and Toki Nogiri, the Super Formula champion, getting aboard the number 8. That battle will be resuming fairly shortly. There is Hiromune's number 12 in Paul Nissan. That's the second trip into the pits for the 23 Nissan. That's got to be race over. So this is a statistic for you. Nissan will tie with Honda for three wins apiece if they win here today. Now who after three rounds of this championship had Nissan winning three out of the next one? Could Oliveira stay there as going around the outside? Sukukoshi trying to pass Oshima. He's going to get that done, you know. He's going to have the line if... Uh, and, and fair play to Oshima in the, in the Toyota, could have easily forced him wide there, but gave him racing room. And now Sukukoshi's going to have to do the same thing, but he's going to have the racing line now, so Sukukoshi's going to get this done. And then Oshima's still there. I mean, the, I've never seen anything like this. Three corners side by side. <laughs> and, oh my word. Finally, finally Sukukoshi jukes it out. And that was good fair racing from the pair of them, but quite out to go. What's happened here to Yokomizo? Pacific car guy, Ferrari, going slowly, and that looks like it's cried enough. There's the Saitama toy, a pet machine that's going to catch it. And I think it's got a puncture by the look of things. Left rear is down, so that's really crawling. 
come together with Sasha Fenestres earlier on in the race. Fenestres serving a penalty for that. And here comes the J-Lock Hurricane. That's as close as Kaguri's been to Iguchi Subaru. And, you know, for the Lamborghini, they've just not been able to make the pass. It's fair to say that, you know, whatever it is, just the pace of that car, the balance of performance, it's a quick car, but in terms of netting track position, they're two different things. And it's very hard for that Lamborghini just lacks the straight line speed to really get up the inside and get going and pass. This is as close as it's been. And you just get the feeling that if Tomoki Nijiri can just get closer, and he is closer now, that's going to force Hiramine just to uh, go a bit defensive. And that's going to then upset his rhythm. And who's that? That's the Subaru. The Subaru's off. Higuchi is off. What has happened here? We've just caught the end of it as well. But this is a catastrophe for them and their championship. And it's all happening here at Twin Ring Motegi with five laps to go. Here, Amine is going defensive from Tomoki Nijiri. Now, this is where it's very... Oh, bit of contact there. So, here, Amine just stopping the car in the middle of the corner. That's to stop the momentum that Nijiri had to stop the run that Nijiri might have had up to turn four. 4.8 kilometers and 14 turns to do it. What's happened here? Hiramine is just letting pass. <laughs> Number 12 is, is slow. Is that a puncture? No, he's just letting pass. But he can't just let him pass. He must no, have no, an issue. He's got a few, it must be like some kind of. It's not a tyre. It must be an engine issue or fuel. Have they run out of fuel? Or, yeah, look, he's shaky. He's run out of fuel. Yeah, you're right. Nissan's you're right. run out of fuel. I can't believe uh, it. And they pitted on the minimum. They pitted on, on, on almost the minimum. Lap 23. Well, they were the first pit. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. That is a shocker, isn't it? That car is running out of fuel. He's shaking it to try and get it to the end. It's all uphill here now. This is going to really test that car. Oh, this is a disaster. That Arta car. Here comes Tomoki Nijiri. They're going to go back to back wins in Super GT to really mount the championship challenge. Nijiri and Arta cross the line to win here at Twindering Motegi. They double up. They won last time out in Autopolis. They win here in Motegi. Here, limping home is Hiramine, and they're not going to make it, you know. He's just done it, so he backed right off. And here comes Hiramine. Ooh, he's picked to the line. He's still got on the rostrum, though. And here comes the Hitotsuyama machine. The Audi hasn't scored any points this year. They're going to win here at Twin Ring Motegi ahead of Rensata's Arta NSX. So Audi wins in Honda's backyard. Rensato brings that car home in second place. João Paulo D'Oliveira will finish in third. He's just ahead of Takashi Kaguri's J-Lock Hurricane. So for Nissan. the Hitotsuyama team, it's not been the perfect year. It's the perfect result. Well, the Honda is the best engine in terms of fuel efficiency. And I think we've seen that again today the Nissan. Obviously, Impul felt that they could risk it. Obviously, avoided being undercut that way. Uh, had they done a, you know, they could have stayed out a lap longer, of course, but they might have been undercut. Well, that has been an action-packed race here in Twin Ring Motegi. Drama right at the end. There was plenty of action throughout. And I, myself, cannot wait for Fuji. What will be, will be. We'll have to wait and see. But the Super GT titles are alive. And the celebrations for the moment will reign into the night here in Twin Ring Motegi. Especially for Audi and that squad. Because for the height. 